In this example, we are going to be using linear equations to solve a mixture problem. Um, and so for this particular word problem, it's all about caffeine. Um, we're in need of a little caffeine boost. We go to a local coffee shop and buy a drink that is 10% caffeine. Um, you're still dragging a little bit after that, so you go back, buy a, another drink that is 10%, 10 ounces larger and 40% caffeine. So a lot more caffeine in that one. In total, we just consumed 28% of caffeine. How large was our second drink? Okay, so there's our setup. And for these types of problems, I find it most useful to first sort of make a diagram as to what is going on. Okay, so we have a first cup. We have a second cup. And we have a sort of ending result cup your stomach, if you will, or some sort of collaborative collection of all that caffeine. So our first drink is 10% caffeine. And it never tells us how large it is. So if we don't know how large something is, we can assign it a variable, x. Okay. Our second drink is 40% caffeine. And we don't know how big that is either, but we do know it is 10 ounces larger than the first. So if the first was 5 ounces, the second would be 15. We're just adding 10 onto that first number. So this just turns out to be x plus 10. And our sort of our collection is 28% caffeine. And the total amount of liquid is these two previous cups added together. So we had our x, we have our x plus 10, throw those together, 2x plus 10. So we now have a diagram, which we then need to turn into a equation for us to solve. Say this first cup was 10%, sorry, 10 ounces of liquid. With 10 ounces of liquid and 10% caffeine, you actually ingested 10% of 10, one ounce. So you really take the percent of caffeine times the quantity to figure out how much caffeine is actually in that glass. So this one turns out to be 0.1 times x. Remember when you're turning a percentage into a decimal, move the decimal place over two spots. Same idea for this one. 40% turns into 0.4 times our quantity x plus 10. And the last one over here, 28% 0.28 times the amount of liquid 2x plus 10. Okay, so you could just solve this out right here through here, dealing with decimals. In general, I suggest getting rid of your decimals just because decimals and fractions, students sometimes have this fear of and kind of freeze up. So multiply everything by a number to get rid of all our decimals. Here we have a tenth, here we have a tenth, and here we have hundredths. So if we multiply everything by a hundred, all our decimals go away. Multiply by 100. 100 times a tenth is 10. 100 times a fourth is 40. And 100 times 0.28 is 28. 2x plus 10. OK. We now have a nice linear equation, no decimals. Solve it out as we would any other linear equation. So distribute our terms through. So distribute that 40 and that 28. 10x stay the same. That gives us 40x. 40 times 10 is 400. 28 times 2, 56. And 28 times 10 is 280. OK. Combine like terms on each side. So 10x, 40x gives us 50x plus 400 equal to 56x plus 280. OK, so now we have x's and other terms. Combine all our x's. I try to keep my x's positive, so I would subtract this 50x over to the other side. 
get our 280 over to the other side as well. So subtract 280 and then simplify. So we got rid of this 50x, 400 minus 280. It's 120, 56x minus 50x is 6x, and that 280 disappears. So we're left with 120 is equal to 6x. To solve this out, divide by 6, x is equal to 20. Okay, now we need to always make sure we're actually solving for what the question asked for. The question asked for how large was our second drink? We found x here, and that is actually the amount of our first drink. So if our first drink is 20 ounces, that makes our second 20 plus 10, 30 ounces. So our answer then is 30 ounces for our second drink. So given a word problem, we sort of made a diagram, figured out sort of how to organize our information changed it into a linear equation, which we then solved out and made sure we gave the proper answer.